With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's start the question. The question says that the following materials are provided. Solutions of cobalt chloride, ammonia, potassium permanganate, lime water, starch iodide, sodium hydroxide, lead acetate, potassium iodide, also provided are litmus and filter papers, glowing splinters and glass rods. Using the above, how would you distinguish between A. A neutral acidic and basic gas B. Oxygen and hydrogen gas C. Carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide gas D. Chlorine and hydrogen chloride gas E. Hydrogen sulfide and nitrogen dioxide gas F. Ammonia and carbon dioxide gas G. Zinc carbonate and potassium nitrate H. Hydrated copper sulfate and anhydrous copper sulfate I. Ammonium sulfate and sodium sulfate Now we have to distinguish between mentioned compounds using the given chemicals. So the first is neutral, acidic and basic gas. So neutral gas Neutral gas doesn't change the color of a litmus paper, but acidic gas turn blue litmus paper into red blue litmus paper into red and basic basic gas turn red litmus litmus paper to blue so the second option has told us to differentiate between oxygen and hydrogen gas so let's write oxygen and hydrogen gas so we know oxygen gas Oxygen is obtained by heating potassium permanganate. Manganate that is KMNO4 and hydrogen gas is obtained by reaction of of Zn or zinc and H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid. In the third option we have to distinguish between carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. So let's see carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide gas. So Carbon dioxide does not change the color of K2Cr2O7 that is potassium chromate. So let's write CO2 does not change the color of K2Cr2 let's write properly K2Cr2O7 that is potassium potassium chromate but 
ASO2 changes color color of K2Cr207 K2Cr207 from from orange to green so fourth option or option d says distinguish between chlorine and hcl gas so let's write chlorine and hydrogen chloride or hcl gas so chlorine 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 decolorizes the coloring matter but hcl does not hcl gas does not the fifth option says distinguish between hydrogen sulfide that is h2s and nitrogen dioxide gas so let's see how we can distinguish between them so hydrogen sulfide gas h2s h2s changes the color of potassium permanganate that is kmno4 from pink to colorless changes the color of potassium permanganate from pink to colorless and nitrogen dioxide gas reacts with potassium iodide that is ki and evolves violet gas in the sixth option we have to distinguish between ammonia ammonia and ammonia and carbon dioxide gas so we know ammonia is an acidic gas and carbon dioxide is a basic gas so ammonia will turn will turn red litmus to blue and co2 will turn blue litmus to red so in the seventh option we have to distinguish between zinc carbonate and potassium nitrate so let's see how can it how it can be done lime water turn zinc carbonate or zncl3 into milky into milky but it has no effect effect on potassium nitrate eighth option we have to distinguish between hydrated copper sulfate that is cuso4 and anhydrous copper sulfate anhydrous copper sulfate so now if we take hydrated copper sulfate and anhydrous copper sulfate and leave it in open air so we will change we will see some changes so let's write that if anhydrous copper sulfate is taken or is kept in open air 
it it will changes its color from white to blue this change happens because anhydrous cuso4 takes moisture from the open air and no such changes is observed in hydrated cuso4 if it is kept in open air so let's write that no no such changes occur in case of hydrated cuso4 yeah? hydrated cuso4 the next option and the last option says to distinguish between ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate that is nh3 nh4 hold to nh4 hold to so4 and sodium sulfate sodium sulfate so let's see how we can distinguish between these two if ammonium sulfate that that is ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate if is heated with sodium hydroxide that is NaOH it will liberate ammonia gas but for the same condition sodium sulfate that is Na2SO4 Na2SO4 that is sodium sulfate will not give any product so these are the method by which we can distinguish between the mentioned chemicals so let's write hence these are the solution for the given question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today